I want to keep it as short as possible. So, I'm Sundar. This is Technology Jock. Subscribe. Hit the bell icon. Like the title says, 50 million users were hacked. That's about one in every 50 users on Facebook. It's the largest ever breach in Facebook's 14-year history. So what really happened? How did the perpetrators manage to get access to those accounts? So there's this feature called View As, which lets you view your own profile as if you were a visitor. As in, you can see how your profile looks to other users. This feature is currently disabled by Facebook, but it's still available for pages. I've got a Facebook page, so let me show you how it works. When I'm visiting my own Facebook page, Facebook shows me page tips, my recent Instagram photos, ad suggestions and so on. If I want to know how this page looks to you guys, I just need to go here, click view as page visitor and boom. This helps me go back and tweak a few things to make the page look better to you. So the hackers exploited a vulnerability in the code of this particular feature, which enabled them to steal access tokens of millions of accounts. An access token is something that lets you stay logged in. Like when you close the Facebook app on your phone and then open it later, you'd still be logged in, right? Access token is the reason. Don't panic, everything's all right now. The access tokens have been reset by Facebook. You don't have to change your password because this breach had nothing to do with passwords. Imagine all the apps that let you log in using Facebook, like Instagram, Book My Show, Savin, Spotify, etc. The hackers could have accessed those services as well. It's always better to have super strong passwords for all your online accounts. But worst case scenario, I highly recommend you to have a strong, unique password for your Gmail and Facebook accounts because those two are the ones you generally use to log into many other services. You lose Google and Facebook, you lose almost everything. The do this in the title also includes one more thing. It's an easy way to strengthen your online security. You probably already know it, but haven't enabled it. Yep, it's two-factor authentication. Here's a poll, be honest, let me know if you have it enabled. I'm sure the majority of you haven't. For those who don't know what two-factor authentication is, well, if you enable it, you will be asked to enter a login code after entering the password as a second step for authentication. This code either arrives via a text message or in an app. Setting up two-factor authentication is really easy. I'll leave a link in the description. Clicking it will take you to this page. Tap get started. Text message is straightforward. It works just like how OTP works. So let me demonstrate the other option. Download any authenticator app from the App Store or Play Store. Open it. Scan the QR code. And done. This code changes every minute. So now when you log in on a new device, once you enter the password, you'll be asked to enter the login code as well. Similarly, you can enable two-factor authentication on your other online accounts like Gmail and Twitter. Setting up takes exactly two minutes. And now whenever you log into your account, it probably takes a few more seconds of your time. It is a bit of a hassle, I agree. You may not have your phone with you when you log in on your PC. You might feel lazy to go pick up your phone to see the login code. But guys, it's better to be safe than sorry. So that's pretty much it. A quick video, I just thought it was necessary to create some sort of awareness. So what I want you to do is go enable it and then come back here and let me know in the comment section that you've done it. Share this video with your friends and family, force them to enable two-factor authentication. Guys, we cannot stop thieves from breaking into our houses, but that doesn't mean we should keep the doors unlocked all the time, right? So that's it. Subscribe to Technology Jock. Hit the bell icon to get notifications for my future videos. Thanks a lot for watching. This is Sundar and I'll see you in my next video.